Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson, and today is Friday, November 6th. The holidays are fast approaching, and we know every holiday is about fellowship and fun with our family and our friends, and many people are still struggling with a decision about what to do for this holiday season. I know many people are going to have guests during this pandemic, but what I'm gonna to try to do is offer some advice on how to safely get through the holidays. And this is based upon one of the online medical journals that I read that was written for families with college students. But if you use your imagination and your common sense, I think and it can apply to anyone that is returning and is going to be spending time at your home. And that can be your adult children or it can be relatives or it could be friends. So the title of this presentation is Don't Bring COVID Home for the Holidays. Now again, pretty soon, thousands of college students are gonna be on their way home and pretty soon folks are gonna be knocking on their loved ones' stores for the holidays. And the goal is to make sure that no one is bringing COVID-19 home with them accidentally and infecting their friends, siblings, and especially older parents and grandparents. Now we know no one wants to infect anyone. And in fact, most COVID infections come from sources where no one really can identify. People have no idea where, where or how they got COVID. And again, we have to have a plan to survive this pandemic. This is gonna go on for a while. So by following these simple steps, hopefully you can decrease the possibility of COVID-19 transmission and save some lives. Here's the short version. Basically, it requires self-isolation before traveling and a COVID test. Now, here's the science behind it. We know that coronavirus infection cannot really be accurately detected during the first five days after infection because the virus is incubating and replicating inside your cells. But sometime after five to eight days, it can be detected in most infected people. So here's your four-step plan for asymptomatic uh, students or relatives who are gonna be coming to your home. Now, anybody who's already sick, who's having any signs or symptoms of COVID-19 infection should get tested, seek care from a licensed healthcare professional and stay where they're at. But here's the plan. Step one, your student or your guest has to self-isolate eight days before leaving for your home. And that means avoid going to restaurants, bars, parties, or any place where people gather in numbers. If you have students that are on campus, if they can convert to 100% online learning, that's great. They have to wear a mask at all times when outside of their dorm room. They have to maintain social distancing of at least six feet apart when they're around anybody at all times. They have to wash their hands frequently. And folks, everybody needs to get a flu shot if you're six months old and older and have no contraindications to the flu shot. That's step one, self-isolation. Step two is get the COVID test two to three days before leaving for traveling. So get the COVID test. It can be a molecular test for viral RNA using an FDA approved nucleic amplification test. It could be one of those PCR tests. A lot of places you can get your results back in two to three days. Now, a lot of places are doing nasal, saliva, or nasopharyngeal swabs. I've had them all. And uh, we acknowledge that this may not be perfect because some of these tests have a high rate of false negatives, but go ahead and get COVID testing. 
And if your results are positive, you know you have to self-quarantine and stay where you're at and schedule the visit at a later date. Step three is to plan your travel home, assuming you have a negative COVID test. Take a whole bunch of extra masks, either cloth mask or disposable surgical mask. I use a three-ply surgical disposable mask. And if you're traveling on public transportation, train, bus, airplane, I recommend eye protection at all times because you're gonna encounter some crowds uh, if you're flying by plane, train, buses during the holidays. Do not wear those masks that have the vent in them because they are not protective. Wash your hands closely and carefully with hand sanitizer, carry some wipes or soap and water with you. Of course, you can't carry water on the plane but if you're traveling in the airports, try to eat before you go or either bring your own food in a backpack or your purse. And again, wipe down everything, your seat, your tray table, your armrests and other areas before you take your seat. Step four is when you get home upon arriving. Try to socially distance yourself still, maintain, uh, be careful with your guests Host outdoor activities as much as possible. Folks, consider putting a picnic table outside and having an outdoor Thanksgiving if the weather is good. Parents, if you're gonna have a holiday dinner, ask all guests who are coming to dinner to avoid contact with a whole lot of people for 14 days prior to them coming to your house for dinner. Again, we have to protect ourselves. Now this is gonna be difficult, but you can't have the buffet line. You know, you put the, all the food out on the table. Nope, that's not gonna work. Uh, you want to avoid like salad bars, buffets, uh, sharing any kind of drinks, no punch. You know, again, try to have the food in individual containers as much as possible. Maybe this year you have to cut everybody's food up, the turkey in advance, and, you know, again, use their own utensils, don't share things. Use single-use options, or identify one person to serve shareable items. You know, one person cutting the turkey, that kind of thing. And make sure they wash their hands with soap and water, and everyone who's preparing the food needs to make sure that they're not sick. So folks, that's how you do it. If you're going to have people coming to visit, you're gonna to have to be proactive. If they have any symptoms, like cough, fever, shortness of breath, sore throat, loss of taste or smell, cold symptoms, headache, muscle aches, chills, mm -mm, they gotta stay home this year because they could be infected with the coronavirus. And remember, no hugging, no kissing, this year, mm -mm, it's just can't do. Wear the mask of all times. And again, we have to have some wisdom here. This is one year and a lifetime of holidays. And with planning, luck, persistence, and following the evidence-based science recommendations, if we can get this coronavirus pandemic under control, next year, things will resemble like they have done in the past. Remember, these won't guarantee a COVID-free holiday, but hopefully it'll minimize the risk. And again, all it takes is a short period of self-isolation, 14 days, and a COVID test. This is Dr. Rhonda Johnson. My views are my own. Hopefully, you'll have a COVID-free holiday.